is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to talk about is uh, the climbing hitch, the Michoacan. Um, it's one of my favorite ones and I, I'll just tie it in a couple of different ways. All right, let's get to it. So the first way I'm going to tie it, I'll use a uh, 30 inch cord and I'll tie it almost just like I would do uh, a Blake's hitch. So on that what I'll do is I'll start from the bottom and then I'm going to go um, five wraps upward. So th this is one, two, three, four, and then let me go one more, and then five wraps. I'm gonna get the, I gotta have the legs equal, so I'm gonna have to twist this a little. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is when I reach the top, just like if I was doing the Blake's, I'll cross over the bridge, but instead of going through two, I'm only gonna go through the bottom one. And then I'll bring it out to the back side there. Okay. And yeah, the leg's pretty close. So um, it's going to be tied correctly when there is one going out the back, one leg going out the back, one going through the front. You'll see the part that comes over the bridge and then back inside. So this is what it looks like in the front. And this is what it looks like in the back. Let me uh, connect it up. Okay. Put the, so because it's a 30 inch cord, I'll, I'll do the five wraps. It's, it's I think sometimes un unpredictable if you use less. I'm gonna connect this here. Let me get this back out of the way a little bit. So connect here. Throw this one on. All right. So now, put my weight on it. Make sure that this is gonna hold. Oops. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So that's the uh, Mitchell Con with a five wraps and an, on a 30 inch cord. Okay, so now I have the 24 inch cord. And what I'll do with this one is I'll start from the bottom up. And because it's a shorter cord, I'll use uh, only four wraps. So to do that, I'm going to start here on the top. I'll put my, my uh, hit, hitch cord behind the line. And then I'm gonna work my way downward, doing three wraps. One, two, three. When I get to the third, now I'm gonna cross this front, the top one over the bottom, and then I'm gonna bring the bottom one around and slide it through. The, you know, kind of like the top, almost like a bridge. And so this is what it'll look like when I'm finished. And like you want the, you want the legs to be equal. And I'll put the uh, pulley on and I'll connect the carabiner. Okay. I'm going to give it a real quick test. Or actually the, the front side and then the back side. It's, you know, it's correct when you have one going out the front, one leg, and then the other leg's going out the back. So I'll connect it and put my weight on it. Okay, give it one of those, oops, on rope rest, try it again, make sure it's holding, all right, so you'll see that it has one, two, three, and the fourth one is the bottom rack. Okay, so now that I have it connected, I've put, I tied the knot, and I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go up the tree, um, ascend and then walk a little bit in the canopy so the reason I think you know for me the reason this is one of my favorites it's because even on the upwards and the downward it's pretty fluid I like it um, in both directions so it, it uh, it's easy to ascend and then when I um, decide to to descend it's pretty fluid too So now that I got to the top of the canopy, um, this Mitchell Con I, I really like um, with the 24 cord, um, and even like on the ascent, 
even though I, I put it like weight and I want to do an ascent, it goes up pretty quickly. I kind of, and it doesn't really have very much sit back. So even if you're going to descend, it goes pretty quick. And then when you're going to go back up to the ascent, it's pretty free. So uh, now I'll just walk out over on that limb and see how it reacts on going walking in and out. All right. Oops. So I like that it's close because I'm. It's really close to my body. I really like it. So now when I'm ascending in, it's really free. Even if I after I put my full body weight on it, it's really free. And then on the coming in portion. It's right in front of me, and it's pretty quick moving. There you go. So, okay. Here I go. I'm going to descend down with the two fingers. It's uh, pretty smooth on the descent. There you go. And then even after, like with my full body weight, even on this 24 inch cord, it's a uh, pretty free at moving back up. So you can see that even after I put my body weight, it's really smooth on the ascent. And so even that 30 inch cord, um, whether it's a 30 or a 24, the knot moves almost identical. They're pretty free moving when you're going ascending. You even put a lot of your weight, maybe even a little of a kind of a, a heavy set on it and it's still free to to descend it's a really pretty nice knot that's the Michoacan 30 inch cord and a 24 so uh, this is the Michoacan um, and here it is with the 30 inch cord and the 24 uh, you you want to remember when you're doing something new um, remember to do it low and slow uh, these two knots are pretty darn good knots and like I said, it's one of my favorite knots to use. I always like it in this 24 inch cord. Um, this one is almost identical in use. Um, it's a little bit, on, on, if you're ascending upwards, sometimes it might like um, slip on you if you're coming down. So if you kind of do a hand over hand, sometimes it might slip on you, so be careful of that. But uh, hope you liked it. There you go. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And if you have friends that like this stuff, share our videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.